Silvio Berlusconi first became Italian Prime Minister in 1994. Italy's richest man brought with him the energy of a master salesman and a true populist. His centre-right Forza Italia party became a mainstay of Italian politics for three decades. He was brash and crude and occasionally embarrassing on the international stage. But enough Italians admired his self-made status and plain speaking. He was Prime Minister four times. Bye bye, Silvio. Bye. He was forced from office in 2011 when the markets lost faith in his leadership during the Eurozone debt crisis. But he continued to exert influence from behind the scenes. Just last year, he played a crucial role in forging a right wing alliance with Giorgio Maloney's Brothers of Italy and Matteo Salvini's League. Both politicians owed much to Berlusconi's populist legacy, and both were quick to pay tribute. Silvio Berlusconi era soprattutto un combattente. Silvio Berlusconi was above all a fighter. He was a man who was never afraid to defend his convictions. And it was precisely that courage and determination that made him one of the most influential men in the history of Italy that allowed him to make real breakthroughs in the worlds of politics, communication and business. On this sunny day, a great Italian, one of the greatest, has decided to bid us farewell. Wishing everyone a good day, I ask for a minute's silence for Silvio Berlusconi and his return to Milan. Berlusconi's political career was dogged by almost constant scandal and legal investigation. He faced countless charges of fraud and bribery. There was suspicion of links to the Mafia. In most cases, he avoided conviction. But in 2013, he was finally forced from Parliament guilty of corporate tax fraud. His sentence was commuted to community service. His personal life was the stuff of sordid soap operas. To the end, there was a succession of much younger women, notorious bunga bunga parties, and in one case, a conviction subsequently overturned for underage sex. Overseas, Berlusconi seemed closest to Russian President Vladimir Putin. There was an obvious chemistry and this tribute from the Kremlin on Monday. I want to express my sincere commiserations and condolences to the people of Italy, to all those who are close to Mr Berlusconi. This is a huge loss, not only for Italy, but for global politics. Berlusconi broke the mould of Italian politics using his business empire as a platform to political power, a move that many have since copied. He was a divisive figure, but he became an almost permanent fixture of Italian politics. And like him or loathe him, Italians will feel his absence. He will receive a state funeral in Milan's Duomo Cathedral on Wednesday. Simon McGregor Wood, TRT World.